Okay, uh, this is a video about how to use the Blue Mule washing system. It's a revision on the old uh, way we had set up to use it in the past. Um, so here it goes. There are two shampoos connected to the high flow side. It turns out that the high flow side and the low flow side are completely separate. These two shampoos are connected to the high flow side they need to be used only with this valve. They also need to be used with the longer high flow wand. On the left is the low flow side. These two valves are connected to our conditioner and our flea dip and they need to be used only with the low flow valve and only with the smaller low flow tip. Don't be deceived that this has been stickered incorrectly I'm having a, uh, a talk with the manufacturer about this. This is the low flow tip. It's smaller. You can see how much smaller it is than this tip here. Okay. If you're doing anything with the low flow side, you need to use the low flow tip. That's the way it works. Now here's an example of what you're going to see. I'm going to do the high flow side. I'm going to start with my blue shampoo, this is our mainstay shampoo. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn on the uh, high flow side here with this valve open. So I'm opening this valve and turning on the high flow side 100%. And you will see that we get plenty of shampoo once it starts flowing out of there correctly. It's gonna suds up quite a bit. This particular shampoo, it's designed to suds up a lot. Don't worry that you're using too much shampoo. There's nothing to be worried about. That's the way it should be coming out of there. I'm going to stop this. I'm now going to turn this off. I'm going to run rinse for a little bit of time to get the shampoo out of the system. I'm now going to stop this. And I'm going to run our medicated shampoo high flow side on. Once again, give it a few seconds to start flowing. Plenty of flow. It's going to foam up quite a bit. That's not because there's too much shampoo. That's just because the nozzle itself makes the, uh, the soap flow and foam a lot better. Okay, so now I've rinsed it out. If I want to use the low flow side, if I want to use the D-shed conditioner or I want to use the flea dip, I need to swap out my tips. And I do that by grabbing and turning at this base right here, okay? You can twist this and not going to do anything. You need to be twisting this bottom piece right here. So I'm dropping that in there. I'm grabbing the smaller low flow side. I'm going to go ahead and screw this on here. Now I'm going to use first the D-shed conditioner. It's uh, in the red uh, valve here. Now notice I'm using the left side, so I'm only using the low flow. So here it is, low flow. It's not as much pressure, but it's not... I don't think it's necessary to have this much pressure when we're applying that D-shed conditioner. There's the flow. Plenty of shampoo. Once again, don't be worried. We got too much. It suds up. Now I'm turning this off. Put it on a rinse. Waiting for this to clear out. Okay. Now, I'm going to run the Flea dip, turning that valve on, low flow on once again. The flea dip doesn't foam up as much, it's not a shampoo. Uh, you'll start getting a white substance that's flowing out and it'll have a noticeable smell. All of the shampoos now have a noticeable smell. So that's flowing out of there, I can feel it on my hands pretty well. Um, now I'm turning this off. And I'm rinsing.
Okay, once again, shampoo, right hand side, high flow side. With the high flow side, you need to use the large wand. Flea dip and conditioner, left hand side. With the left hand side, you need to use the low flow valve and you need to use the smaller wand. Okay, uh, the idea is we are not going to be turning both of these valves on at once, we're gonna leave them alone and uh, we're gonna be turning one on at a time. And uh, hopefully this is gonna give us more consistency in the shampoos. Now I wanna make a special note. This system is mounted on the left-hand side of this tub. This system is mounted on the left-hand side of the tub. This system is mounted on the right-hand side of the tub. Notice that because it's mounted on the left-hand side versus the right-hand side, the high flow side is facing you. On the left hand side, the low flow is facing you. So pay attention to what shampoo you are using. Unfortunately, in this setup, someone has chosen to put a blue conditioning shampoo. So it becomes very, uh, very important that you pay attention to what substance that you're using in here. Um, these two look very, very similar. I do not like that. Uh, hopefully that will be uh, fixed and resolved. That will be used up uh, very shortly. In addition, since I am making this video, I want to let you know that there are some issues still that we are having uh, of with one of the valves on this shampoo system and with one of the valves on this shampoo system. I hope that's not an omen for the future. This shampoo system is working 100%. I'm going to give you guys a note about which shampoos or which valves not to use in the next coming days, and we should get those issues resolved uh, ASAP. All right, I'm going to do a little write-up on this as well. Thanks for watching.